What's up guys? It's Gary with Fresh from the Fire and Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and we're gonna be doing our week four update on cordyceps. So we've uh, already crossed our strains and we've got some mated pairs on Petri dishes. So I'm going to be taking those mated pairings and transferring them over to slants for long-term storage. So one of the most important things about cultivating cordyceps is the long-term storage of the mycelium. So cordyceps degrades very quickly over time and that is one of the reasons why, you know, breeding cordyceps is becoming so popular because you can get fresh genetics over and over again, but to avoid doing that work, you know, multiple times a year, um, it's best to just transfer that mycelium onto a slant. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And we're going to start running our different strains through liquid culture. So I'll go through that process as well. Um, but first I'll just kind of transfer all of our mated pairings over to slants so that we can use those slants as our mother culture for um, future cultivation. All right guys, so I'll head down to the lab and show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I'm down in the lab and I've got all my supplies ready for this cordyceps transfer. So I made these slants about four days ago. Um, if you haven't checked it out yet, I have a video on how I make my slants for long-term storage. And then we've got our cordyceps mated, um, mated pairings right here. And then I've got my isolated um, streak, which I assume that this colony was mated on the first dish, so I'm going to be transferring this over into a liquid culture as well as onto a slant and um, a new petri dish for um, production. So I've got about 13 other types. Um, they're looking super healthy, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer those onto their own slant for long term and then I'm going to transfer them onto a new plate for production so that we can pull from that plate to make our um, liquid cultures. So I'll flip this around and go through that video and it's, it's pretty straightforward but the main important part of this is to get a clean sample onto a slant so that I'll always have that culture, the G1 first generation culture, and then I'll be able to pull off of that to make my liquid cultures in the future. All right. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with my isolated street plate colony. So this is a um, native um, pairing from the very first street plate spores that I made. I'm going to be doing this one into liquid culture and a uh, new plate and a new slant. And then I'm also going to start, this is our multi-spore liquid culture. So you can see there's definitely a few colonies that are starting to take over. And I'm just going to spin this up while I'm doing this lab work.
Jumbo without the liquid culture for the rest of my bleeding pairings. So I'm going to be taking my tissue from right in the middle. Um, and that way they would have formed plant connections and the two different genetics should be um, combined towards in between these two. I'm going to be starting with C6, C8 and work my way down the rest of these cultures. So I'll kind of just uh, speed through this, but I just want to show you how it's All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of these transfers here, but um, I'll keep you posted on how the slants are doing, and then hopefully within the next uh, five to six days, we'll be able to put those all on liquid culture. Our polyspore liquid culture is doing real well, so I'm excited for that. And then we've got our other one that we started just today. So um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more videos like these. Um, share our content if you think anyone else will find them useful. I really like making these videos and um, I'm getting a lot of positive support, so thank you. Check out our Etsy if you're interested in any living cultures. And um, stay tuned. We'll be coming out with some more updates on these and hopefully we'll get some fruits in the next few weeks. Alright guys, until next time, much love.